Hey, come see us in Ashland, Virginia, Athens, Georgia, Rutherford, New Jersey at the Icarus Festival, and Minneapolis, Minnesota. Go to jimmydoor.com for a link for tickets. So uh, Bill Burr, my old buddy Bill Burr, is smoking a cigar. I don't know if he, I don't think he's drinking, but uh, Bill Maher is, that's his new thing if you if he's drinking. You give him the full Maher. You don't go more. You go Maher. I go Maher. Yeah. I don't know why. Oh, I thought it was out of respect. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. just like I used to say uh, Barack Obama and then John Stewart stole that from me. Mm. Um, I like to mispronounce people's names. It's fun. Kurt Mexican. Yeah. Um, so here's Bill Maher and, and Bill, Bill and Bill Burr. <laughs> and um, here's watch this. With the kids demonstrating so they're talking about the college kids demonstrating against by the way which is turns out is actually helping and is very effective and do you know how you know that the college kids protesting is effective and they're worried about it meaning the people running the war is worried about it because they have to overreact so hard they have to go in there and crack their heads so hard. Violent. They have to threaten to not hire them for the rest of their life. This is the PMCs. That's yes, why. that's right. They thought the threat of school loans you can't pay back that, would make them not do it. No, no it's and not. they would grow up and join their family in the generational, right. I guess, satanic business, you could call it. And the kids found out how the sausage is made and they're mad. And they're not like knuckling under on it because they really believe. Like when Chelsea, I love it, Chelsea Clinton. In those emails. In those emails. And he's like, tell me, tell Chelsea, we are corrupt and this is what we do. Please. <laughs> and then okay, she so, not, yeah. So here, so let's watch this fun and I'll try not to stop it, but Bill Bird does a great job here. Here we go. Ready? With the kids demonstrating for Hamas, they are in with the terrorists. Oh, they, were, they were for the Palestinians. Well, it's sort of the same cause. Why, are you? Um, I'm on the side of the kids. Yeah, that's easy to say. You know, no one ah, wants to see kids it is. dead. It should be. Uh, it this should is be a war. Very brave to say, that. To say this. <laughs> this is a this is a war. No, I'm the one who is actually brave on this. Uh, it's oh, e pat it's yourself on the back. It's easy to say <laughs> I'm for the kids. Who's not for the kids? Bill well, I don't just, that would be you. Who's not for the kids? You. I hate kids. Let me tell you something. Who's I that? don't like kids. The Palestinians should be grateful that they killed their kids. I love I love this. Here, here, I'll show you who's not for the kids. Who's not for the kids? I don't know. Bill Maher. Maybe the military force that's killed over 12,000 of them in the last seven months. Or yeah. maybe them. Or Bill himself, who has said out loud, hey. I hate kids. <laughs> yes, Bill Maher. It's easy to say that, but not for me because I hate them. <laughs> so, when, by the way, when Bill Burr says, I'm with the kids, I think he meant the college kids who are protesting. Bill Maher no, missing. No, he no no. You he, think you think first that? they say kids college. No, Bill likes them because they're close to hooker age. <laughs> when they get to Hamas, see this is great that he goes, they're supporting Hamas. And and I always Bill want someone to go, no, they're supporting the Palestinians. Right. Which God bless you, Bill Burr, for coming through on that. Bill Maher goes, well, it's kind of the same thing. No, it's not, No, Bill. it's not, Bill. And he goes, I just don't want the, I'm for the kids not being killed. That's what Bill Burr was saying. Yeah. And Bill Maher goes, that's easy to say we shouldn't kill kids. Of okay. course, take the lazy way out of not killing kids. <laughs> okay. That's what he was saying. I know. Let's. So there's more to this. Let's start it at the top. With the kids demonstrating for Hamas, they are in with the terrorists. No, they, were, they were for the Palestinians. Well, it's sort of the same cause. Why, are you? Um, I'm on the side of the kids. Yeah, that's easy to say. You know, no one wants to see kids dead. Uh, this is a me. war. That was very brave of you to say this that. Is a, <laughs> this is a war. No, I'm the one who was actually brave on this. Uh, it's oh, e pat it's, yourself on the back. It's easy to say <laughs> I'm for the kids. Who's not for the kids? Well, it I don't comes just... down to real hard-nosed decisions. Like no, a country, stop talking like you're a general. A country got attacked. <laughs> Israel got attacked. I'm not saying that they didn't have a right to go back. I'm just sitting there going okay. like, how do I look at... what? They're the only country in the world that uh, they get attacked, and then as soon as they counterattack, it's like, well, we got to stop this shit now. Don't attack them. There's a very simple solution to all this problem in the Middle East. Stop attacking Israel. Oh, I think the solution to all these problems in the Middle East, Bill Maher, would be Israel stop committing a genocide. But, but back it up even before that, stop occupying someone else's country. 
That's too far, Jimmy. That, so, Pete, they always leave out. They always act like this started at October 7th. This started with the Nakba, okay, where they got 750,000 Palestinians kicked out of their land, stole their land, and now they occupy their land. They're an occupying force. So you under UN Charter, you're allowed to fight back against an occupying force. Right. Mm-hmm. So so maybe tell them to stop occupying the Gaza Strip. Tell them to stop uh, tr- stop doing the siege warfare that they're doing on Gaza. Hey. Tell them to stop occupying the West Bank. Tell them to stop slaughtering Palestinians. This didn't just start Wait. on October 7th. This has been going on for since 1947, eight. Wait. So that so so they never bring up that up. They stop uh, attacking Israel. Nobody's attacking Israel. Israel's the ones that's causing all the war. They're bombing three different countries right Right now, as we speak, plus they're committing a slaughter in Gaza and the West Bank. Wait, Jimmy, okay, I'm not an anti-Semite like you, okay? So I'll bargain them down to, how about Israel, you stop paying money to people to attack you. That's right. Because that's the number one where I go, fuck you, Israel. You paid them, you paid the bad guys that Bill Maher hates. That we got to kill their the kids that live kind of near them. That's right. You, your president or whatever the hell you call Benjamin him, Netanyahu, openly sent money. He wasn't a college kid with a sign. He took your taxes and mostly our taxes and paid a terror group who attacked you. And now you're going to kill their kids and, when you should hand BB over to them. And can you be that dumb not to see the game that Benjamin Netanyahu, why would Benjamin Netanyahu prop up Hamas and give them suitcases full of money instead of the PLO, which is a secular non-terrorist organization because they wanted to use them when they finally did attack them. They wanted to use that as an excuse to go in and take over Gaza and take over the West Bank, which is exactly what they're doing. That's been their plan all along. Let's watch Bill. But it's just so funny to watch Bill Burr destroy him. It's like you know, Bill Maher brought a, a cheese knife to a gunfight. And, <laughs> and here, here we go. Hey, you Stop just attacking it. Israel. You just I did. solved it. I actually there did. There you go. That's fantastic. Anyway, <laughs> all right. We let's, don't need to get let's onto go to, that. Let, let's go to Russia and uh, the Ukraine. How do you solve that one, Bill? <laughs> Let me hear your hard-nosed decision about that. Well, let me ask you a question. How, it, uh, how is war still legal? All the shit that's been canceled. Legal. Why is that still fucking legal? Would you like a real answer to that? Because to for something to be illegal, you have to have the capacity to enforce it. And you can't enforce against war or else you have to go to war with the country that's going to war. And we don't want to go to war with Russia over Ukraine. What would be the sense of making it illegal? Oh, that's really going to stop Putin. No. To stop people from going to war, you have to also put Just boots. Can't sit down and talk it out. Do a po- Why can't Putin do a podcast with the head guy? Like, you just solved the Middle East on a podcast. Why can't they solve what they're doing on a podcast? <laughs> make this is why this is not your thing. Make, make, this make is some my, hard noise. It's, it's not your thing. It's what you... Thing. It's what you, my, you it is my it thing. It isn't your thing. This is not it your isn't. thing. You're like that Playing guy that the, has a fantasy football team no, and thinks no, he's no, a fucking no, GM. No. <laughs> oh. no. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Like, why am I fucking listening to you like, like ah. you've done something? Oh, Bill. <laughs> what have you done in one? Yeah. That was beautiful. Ah. Wow. I got to say, I... I, I so, I really admire Bill Burr in a big way for that. Yeah, but way to go, Bill Maher. You insult the guy who can roast you like a hen in a rotisserie. <laughs> they didn't have to talk about the issues. And he, cut, he didn't even get to Bill Maher's black hooker addiction. No, they didn't even get to he it. He didn't even have to get that personal. Just like, who, what did you ever do besides setting on a show and not get in trouble for saying the N-word one time? So th- so that all the, I, all the problems are just because people won't stop attacking Israel. Israel is bombing Syria. Israel is... Oh. You know what would get, probably get them to stop? If you murder their children. Yeah. I'll, uh, <laughs> you know what would probably calm these Arabs right down? Blow up all their kids that had nothing to do with it. Yeah. The bomb all their hospitals, all their schools, all their universities. Bomb all of it. Slaughter their children and their women. And I bet that'll get them. That'll, that'll get them. No, they deserve it. It's practically the, the same thing. The idea is they want the... Palestinians out of Palestine. They want them to go either either Jordan or into Egypt. Well, they're coming here. That's what this is all. They're and a lot of them here. That's what this is all about. And, it, and you have to be. You have to really be trying. Just like Bill Maher, there, he he said, "Oh, if you make war illegal, that's not going to stop Putin." Again, he doesn't know anything about Ukraine. He doesn't know about the Maidan coup. And if he does, then he's being a disingenuous liar, because Putin didn't start this war. This war was another war started by NATO. 
and the United States. Okay, because so he, so he knows nothing about the, the the Minsk Accords and who broke those Minsk Accords. He knows nothing about the Azov Battalion. Knows nothing about the Donbass and the shelling of the Donbass. He knows nothing about the fact that the CIA got in bed with right wing Nazis to overthrow the democratically elected government of Ukraine. Putin didn't do that. You know who did that? The United States did that. The United States overthrew the coup their government. And so the people in the Donbass didn't want to go along with it. Bill Maher acts like it was, oh, all, all of a sudden, everything starts. So with Bill Maher, the, uh, the Palestine conflict starts on October 7th. And with the Ukraine, it starts with Putin's invasion of uh, the Donbass. That's not when these things started. So it's very easy if you come into the, if you start the story at the third act, it's very easy to get the wrong idea of what's actually I happening. I reset my memory every two and months. I love what, I love that Bill Maher is like, this is my thing. It's not your thing, Bill. You're a dumb propagandist uh, with all the writers around him. None yeah. of them know what's going on in Ukraine. No, no. None of them know what's well, going listen, on in Gaza. Remember, he was going to go back to his show with no writers because he does think he knows something. Yes. And then really, and I find this, this is a little shocking. It's hard to imagine he would be like this, a guy who would fire his agents for not getting him into that one party. <laughs> Let me get into some party. And he goes, you're fired because he didn't go to like the hottest party. He's like a, a as big a twit as any, he, he is Kid Rock. They're all the same. They're all the same, like know nothing, but they talk to important people. It doesn't occur to them, those people, like, he calls BB. BB talks to him on the phone, I know for a fact. I'm sure. Okay? So I get I get it straight from the horse's mouth. Yeah, I know. I, it didn't occur to him because you just got to flatter him and make him feel like he's taller than a tiny little man, and then he feels like he's a big deal. So that's why he said said that to Bill, right? Like, this is not really your thing. Yeah. This is my thing. Yeah. Uh, Bill, Bill doing some great Boston bullying of Bill Moore. Nice. Nicely done. Here we're doing stand-up in Ashland, Virginia, Athens, Georgia, Rutherford, New Jersey, Minneapolis, Minnesota, Ontario, California, Irvine, California, Las Vegas, Davenport, Iowa, Chicago, Grand Rapids. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for tickets and make sure you go to JimmyDoor.com and don't go to a second reseller. Not good. Not good.